Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I have pre-shuffled these four decks for you. This is for the month of October. This is intended to be a general reading. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these, I think I told you. I want to thank you all of I want to thank all of my subscribers, supporters, commenters. This may or may not resonate, as it's for hundreds of thousands of people. One part of it might resonate with you, and the other part might not, okay? Sorry if I'm a little behind. <laughs> These readings, they really exhaust a reader. Because you have, to, it, you have to connect with the energy, and that takes your energy. You know what I just heard in my head? Who's playing who? Who's playing who? That's what just came up. Who's playing who? I wonder what that means. The center of your reading is the fool. This is about a new start, taking a risk. This can also be a fresh start with someone. Okay, but it's taking a risk. It's flying into the unknown, not knowing what's going to happen. Okay, taking the leap, having faith. That's the basis of your month. Okay, having faith and taking a leap into the unknown. All right, right next to it, we have this rejection. We have these regrets. Okay, so whatever this is, 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 is propelling you to a new start, okay? I can see that you've been hurt deeply over something, okay? There's been some pain, all right? Which we all have, all right? We, I think that you have these great visions of the future, all right? And I think that a lot of you are looking for a commitment, okay? Because this is a commitment. Could be with a job, could be with a lover, okay? Um, we do have some satisfaction here. We have love, um, we have friendship. We also have um, a celebration of some sort. This month there could be a gathering. You know, the, there could be a wedding. If you are single and you're looking for somebody and you get invited to any gatherings, make sure you go because you could meet somebody at this gathering. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Um, I do have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius here as well. I do see that you have to be very careful about something, about some kind of choice. There is a choice that needs to be made, and I think maybe you've been in denial over this choice, but you, it is time to make a decision. And I think whatever decision you make is going to um, help you with your new start. It's going to push you in that direction even more. Right here we have uh, the death card. Oh no, this is the devil. This is the devil. So this is a sign of Capricorn. And this is... Um, I just want to... There could be some materialistic issues here. Some materialism. There could be power and control. There could be an ego for sure. Both of these cards are egotistical. So there's somebody has a big ego in your situation. Either it's you or the other person, whoever you're thinking about. There's something is ego driven, okay? And I think it could be even overwhelming you in some way because I see a need for to relax, a need to rest and get away from the situation because it's been very heavily weighing on you. Um, but I see that maybe you are rejuvenating this month and you're about to, you're going to start something new, whatever it is, with that fool card right in the middle. A new journey into something that is unknown where you are going to take a risk might happen this month in October. Okay, you might follow your desires. Okay, you might have some desires that you've been dreaming about for a while that you're going to head in that direction. And it could, this could be about love. All right. Um, uh, this right here is be careful what you choose. I have to show it to you, and I don't know if I've told you this or not, or you've seen it in one of the other videos. Be careful, okay? What you own owns you. So if you focus too much on your job or on materialistic things, you know, love might take the back burner, okay? To, to get all the material things, you have to work for them generally. To work for them takes a lot of time, 
okay so I mean this is be careful be careful with whatever decision you're about to make into the unknown make sure you think about it a lot because this is saying hold on a minute have you thought about it is this really what you want so some of you will know what that's about and this is an Aries Leo Sagittarius I consider this a Leo um, this is the Sun card it's happiness it's bliss um, after a time of maybe even illness okay or restlessness or feeling alone all right maybe or you know feeling like you really need time alone and or taking time to heal after a time of healing I think this happiness comes when you decide to do something new something different you decide to look at something from a new perspective okay and I think doing that you're gonna get past of some you're going to get past some maybe some regrets you've had in your heart or some rejections you've had in your heart maybe you're letting them go um, I see you're focusing you're being very focused this month and I think you're focused on your happiness so congratulations I see this potential for your hopes and wishes to be fulfilled and there's a lot of passion here there definitely could be a new love for some of you there could be um, or a resurgence of a relationship with that Ace of Cups. Now pay attention with the Ace of Cups that says pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams could be telling you something. Okay? Vivid dreams at this time. Um, we have the Three of Cups up there. That's usually the conclusion of something that, you know, was difficult. Or it can be a third party situation. So for some of you... You know, you could be involved in a third-party situation. Now, this won't resonate for, with everybody. Um, we do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Scorpio again, and then we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have this page of wands up there that says excitement is right in front of you. I mean, there could be a lot of... Um, there is some desires this month, okay? And a very... Maybe you definitely, maybe you have some, even some sexual, high sexual drive this month, okay? Um, let's get the next deck, Knight of Wands, twice, okay? Oh no, this is the page, sorry. Kind of the same energy, this one's just a little bit more mature. And moves a little bit faster. This is well. Let me get the cards out. You've been in denial about something. There's no doubt about it. Maybe you've been seeking guidance from above. I mean, I think you might have be. I think you might be seeking guidance from above. Um, maybe even from a counselor around here. You know, a spiritual counselor, or even a counselor. Period. All right, some of you may be seeking guidance and it's really helping you out a lot. The Two of Swords twice, that tells me that you've definitely been at a stalemate in your life. It's like things have been very, you know, slow going. It looks like things have been moving very, very slowly. And you're at a point where you're like, you know what, I'm done with this. I need to move forward. I need things to move faster. So I think that's what this month is about. It's about movement. It's about taking action. I see exciting. I see excitement. I see the need for a new adventure and a new, maybe some of you even um, are thinking about starting your own business this month or you're, you have started your business and it's very exciting or something like that. Now this could be in, regarding a partner as well. You deaf as some of you could have a new sexual partner. Okay, there's a lot of sexual energy here where there's a lot, of, there's high sex drive. Okay, um, some of you could definitely be moving or moving to a more peaceful situation, and this peaceful situation could be uh, in your head, all right, and you're, you're letting go of a grudge perhaps, or it could be you know, you're moving to a more peaceful job, or you could be moving physically. Okay, you could be moving away from a relationship as well. Um, this Hierophant, that's the sign of Taurus. This is Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, make sure you listen to your inner guide, okay? Because you need to really follow your intuition. With any questions that you have, ask your inner guide for the answer and wait for it to come. Sometimes the answer doesn't come for two or three days. Just wait for it to come. The answer will come. Um, 
but anyway, there's a, there's a lot of um, growth here. There's new opportunity to hear for for um, growth regarding something that you could be very passionate about. Could be about love or it could be about work. Okay, but there is uh, growth. There's, there's a very um, fiery, hot, um, sexual, attractive, exciting energy this month. I think that you are just ready to go. You're ready to fly into something unknown and take a risk. All right, that's what I see. I think this, the slow-moving period is over. All right, things that were going slow, the delays, the stalemates, I think they're done because this month you are taking action, all right? Well, time to stop. There they are. Let's see how many came out. Page of coins. You have it twice. Judgment. Eight of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Four of Oh my gosh! The exact right amount of cards fell on the floor. Look at that. Don't get any better than that. Love it. Okay. So the first card is the page of page of pentacles. Don't quit. You have this you have this exciting feeling about something and you have these big dreams and you have these visions of what you want in the future. This card is here twice now, okay? And it says do not quit. Okay? You know there's been delays. I know there has been, but slow and steady wins the race. I see that you want to dive. You're ready to jump and leap because you have these desires, you have so much excite excitement and you're just feeling really confident this month. Okay, don't quit, do it, jump. That's what I see, okay, because you're missing opportunities by not jumping with this four of coins. This is like an obsession of some sort, okay? This is an obsession, this is um, a resistance to change. Obsessed with what you have for some reason, but this is a breakthrough. Finally, you're gonna have this breakthrough that takes you out of that stalemate, um, you know, period that you've been in. All right? You are. You're going to have a breakthrough. This Eight of Swords, you've been falsely imprisoned there. You've been feeling stuck in a situation that you're not really stuck in. Okay? It feels like you, you feel like you, you, maybe you even isolated yourself in some way, but I think that's in the past, and I think you're definitely, this month, you're not going to do that anymore. I see you taking a leap, taking a leap of faith. All right? This Four of Wands, there's the commitment again. We have this commitment again, twice. It could lead to a commitment in a job, in a relationship, or your commitment could go to, could raise up to the next level if you're with somebody right now. You know, there could be, you know, the commitment, the foundation could be built another layer, whatever I'm trying to say. This Six of Wands says, um, victory, success. This is the outcome, okay? You will be successful. You will be recognized for your hard work. You will be honored for your hard work. You will be trusted and respected. Keep going. Do not quit. Do not quit. You make you, you are about to start the process, I think, of following your dreams and making your dreams come true because you're not quitting and the and the outcome is success and honor and respect. Okay? You're about to start a new journey through faith, not knowing what's going to happen. And because you do that, you're going to be very successful because the faith carried you. All right? And that is your breakthrough. That's your wake-up call. Now, um, also, the judgment is also says, remember I said to pay attention to your dreams. The judgment card can also, it's also the sign of karma. But it also can say somebody from the other side is trying to connect with you. So pay attention to your thoughts. I think we talked about that. Or listen to your inner guide. You may be getting messages from um, 
from the other side through thoughts or through um, your dreams. May. This may not resonate with all of you. You are limitless. Oh my gosh. I think that's the perfect card for you. I am going to zoom it in. It happens to be number four. And now you have three fours. Four, four, four. All is well. All is well at this time. That's about foundations. It's about guidance, you know, from above. You know, it's, it, it is. It's about inner peace and in, inner wisdom, all right? The angels are with you, all right? Pay attention to the signs. Seriously, force, pay attention to the signs, okay? This month, really pay attention to the signs. It's, it's, it's really clear. All right. Number four, you are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. <laughs> of course. At times we are too close to a situation and can only see things from one perspective. There is a multitude of possible outcomes to this situation. Take a broader outlook. Release the need to control what is happening and allow your inner knowledge to assist you. Things always work out as they should. Absolutely. So, that is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you for your patience, and I will talk to you later.